budgies are naturally acrobatic and playful. Unlike bigger parrots, they are much more active. And they like to play, fly, hop, eat, drink, and poop without any interference. So in order to answer which cage is best for budgies, we're going to look at six different criteria. What's the cage's size? The cage's design? Its placement? Features? Bars spacing? And finally, the quality of the cage. Of course, first and foremost, the cage's size. I've seen a lot of videos telling people what is the perfect cage's size for your budgies. So if you are here to know what is the perfect size, I can tell you so you get what you came for and you could turn off this video. The perfect area for your budgie is 7.692 million kilometers squared. That is Australia's area, which is budgie's natural habitat. But fortunately for us, Budgies can be really happy and healthy in smaller sizes, and that's what we are going to explain right now. The absolute minimum dimensions for a cage that will house single bird are 45 by 45 by 45 centimeters, or 18 by 18 by 18 inches. You might find it a little bit big, but don't worry, because if you have two budgies, you don't need to double the size. All you need is a little bit of an extra room for the other budgie, and that's all. If your budget will spend most of its time in the cage, then you should be saving up for a flight cage and stick to the minimal dimensions. But if it will be out of the cage for a few hours each day, then you can go for a smaller size. Budgies have to be able to fly in order to physically and mentally be healthy. The rule is bigger is better. So what you need to consider, what is your budget and how much space do you have in your place? Now if you have 2 to 5 budgies, you would need a minimum cage size of 30 by 18 by 18 inches or 75 centimeters by 45 45. You see you don't need to keep multiplying the size as you introduce more budgies, because if one budgie can fly that means two budgies can fly if they take turns, and if four budgies can fly all at once then eight budgies can fly by taking turns for budgies at a time, so you, you get the point. Just make sure you don't get your cage crowded to eliminate any unnecessary fights or irritations between budgies. Please consider carefully the size you get as it will determine how active your budgie can be and this will affect the health and happiness of your bird. If you have a bird with long tail like budgie, remember to make sure the cage you choose allows the bird to turn and move around without their tail touching the bars. Feathers will become damaged and your bird may start to feather plucking itself if it doesn't have enough room in its cage and it can lead to undesirable behaviors like screaming, biting and psychological disorders. And always, whenever you buy a cage, don't forget to take into account the space that will be lost when you add your bird's perches, footballs and toys. There are many types of cages available but not all of them meet the needs of your birds. You need to combine sufficient space for the budgies with ease of access for your hand, as you'll be replenishing food and water every day and regularly cleaning the contents. Budgies need space to fly and also require perches. The style of the cage is a very important factor. Round cages have been found to be detrimental to birds' psychological health, so angled cages are preferable. They are easier to climb for the budgies, as well as give them some type of security as budgies preferred angled edges to hide at. Do you remember when we were talking about the cage's size? You really want a cage that is longer horizontally rather than a pretty upright narrow one. Some very cute cages are nice to look at, but won't provide a decent home for your budgie, as budgies fly horizontally and not vertically.
Many of these cages can either be hung or placed on a stand, and come in a variety of sizes and shapes to accommodate any species of pet birds. The first of these rules is to decide where your bird's cage will be located, and you can shop based on what will work with the area you have set aside. The area should be away from windows and drafts, yet in an active part of your home to encourage your pet's social development. Budgie's cages can be placed on any secure furniture, or you can buy a purpose-made stand. These can be elevated platforms, or stands that incorporate a hook for hanging the cage. You need to be practical, the cage must be secure, so never position the stand where it might be knocked by your children, or any pet you might have like dogs, cats and so on. Your best option is usually if you find a wall behind one side of your cage, because budgies are prey birds, and they feel safer with a wall hiding them. What features should you look for in a cage you are buying? Well, firstly, it needs perches for your bird to sit, sleep and play on. This should be of varying thickness so that the pressure is not always on the same points of the foot of your bird. Make sure there is at least one perch that the budgie's toenails will make contact with, so they are worn a bit and need less trimming. I like to use branches from non-poisonous trees. These allow variations in size and texture to exercise the feet. The next necessary items are the feeders. You need at least three, one for seed mix, one for water, and also one for veggies. Check where the feeders sit in relation to the perches. The budgies must be able to get to the food, but you really don't want it sitting above the feeder pooping into it. You are going to be cleaning this cage out regularly, and hopefully for many years. So how easy is it to remove the base and replace any lining you're using? How easy is it to remove the perches for an occasional scrub or disinfection? You should take everything into consideration. Check how the door opens and closes. Budges learn how to open the doors that just slide up and down without a catch to hold them. If you do end up with a cage like that, then stick something on the door so the budges can't open it and get their heads stuck under the door. Another thing to look at when selecting a cage is the bar spacing. Smaller birds, such as parakeets and lovebirds, require cages with bars no more than half an inch or one centimeter apart, to prevent them from squeezing through or becoming stuck between the bars. I would avoid any cages with bars that are not parallel, where they get closer together at some points. Your budget could slip its foot into a tight gap panic and hurt itself badly. Plus make sure there are some bars that are horizontal, so in case your budgie slip, it can still grip something instead of keep slipping all the way down. Assess the overall quality of a bird cage before you buy it. Does the cage appear sturdy and solid? Are there any loose parts or sharp edges? The best cages are made of stainless steel, which is non-toxic, easy to clean and will not chip. The primary function of a bird's cage is to protect it, so make sure that your bird's home does not pose any hazards to his health and well-being. A properly designed bird cage normally gives bird and owner many years of use and enjoyment. Have a good look to ensure there are no sharp edges or pointy bits that your budgie can get caught on or cut by because believe me, they will find them and they will hurt them. It is also important to make sure the cage and its contents are not coated with a toxic paint or varnish. Anything showing signs of rust should be rejected too. So your best option is stainless steel, because it is non-toxic, solid and birds can chew their way out of it. For more about budgies, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are watching this video from YouTube and hit the bell icon to get notified when the next video is up. Or like the Facebook page if you are watching this video from Facebook.